Did you know that electrical connectors have a lifespan? And I'm not talking about the typical old coil pack connectors getting brittle and crumbling apart in your hands type of lifespan. I mean, each connector has a manufacturer rating for the amount of times that it's able to be disconnected and reconnected before the pins lose tension and no longer form a solid connection, rendering them useless. This is called the mating cycle rating, and it's important to consider when choosing a new or replacement connector for whatever project you're working on. For example, when I built the wiring harness on my personal vehicle, I chose these Deutsch connectors for many reasons. Their ability to withstand heat, their conductivity, the quality of the seal so they can handle the harsh environment of the engine bay, and they have a high cycle rating. After 100 connections and disconnections, they're still guaranteed to be good. Now I know what you're thinking. 100 does not sound like a lot. Well, sure, when you compare it to a phone or computer cable or something like that, but you're meant to be plugging in your phone to charge it how many times a day? At least once a day, right? Where you're not gonna be disconnecting and reconnecting your oxygen sensor connector every single day, for example. Most OEM vehicle connectors will have lifespans of 100 to 500 mating cycles, whereas devices and computers, they'll be in the thousands. Factors that affect the connector lifespan are pin material. Is it made of tin, aluminum, gold, and the material thickness itself, as well as the connector material itself. To find the connector lifespan, you can go directly to the manufacturer themselves. I bought these off of the TE Connectivity website, and they have all that listed in the specifications for each connector.